Hey, truth be told, Captain Ron here at Contact in the Desert. Now I have this gentleman who's going to explain to us all about black holes. His name is Sean, and he's 10 years old? Yes. All right, Sean, why don't you uh, tell our audience about black holes? You want to hold that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so when a star at least the mass of three of our suns like dies, it explodes in a supernova or an unnova, I'll get to that later. It recollapses over and over and over and over. An event horizon forms around the singularity and kapoofy, you got a black hole. <laughs> Now, is kapoofy a medical term or a, a scientific term? No. No. I just made it up off the top. You made that up. I, right. Uh, right off the top of my head. Instead of exploding and releasing the outer layers of the red giant, all of it collapses right into a singularity. Incredible. Yeah. The supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A star, 40 million times the mass of the sun, is very big. Our galaxy used to be something called a quasar that starts firing out these jets of superheated material. They go 99.99% the speed of light. Wow. That's very... <laughs> very fast, huh? Pretty fast. It was brighter than, like, the rest of the Milky Way galaxy around it. And it had the mass of 100 billion suns. It was larger than the solar system. Wow. It's a big black hole. When Andromeda collides with the Milky Way, and <laughs> when black holes collide, they make these things called gravitational waves in space time. So if gravity is this flat plane, uh -huh. two black holes collide, and, and like astronomers actually recorded two black holes colliding, and the sound that made was like. The human ear could hear that from a hundred light years away. Yeah, I just think that's insane. Tony Sweet, put that in your pipe and smoke it.